Hey, 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 it's Chef Evelyn here and Happy New Year. I know we are a couple of weeks into 2024, but I wanted to come on. I know I've been MIA on social a little bit, just, you know, wintering, you know, taking time off, enjoying the holiday, the new year, then my birthday. And then I did a little bit of traveling um, because my godson turned one. I'm excited about that. And now we are back. And I'm excited for the Gourmet Grad School class of 2024. So if you don't follow Gourmet Grad School on Instagram, then you wouldn't know that enrollment is currently open. And I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited to bring in the next uh, or, or like a cohort style of women culinary entrepreneurs for a 12 month experience. And yeah, y'all. So I thought while I was sharing like, okay, you know, When's the last day for applications, which is um, January the 24th. And then uh, orientation for um, new students is on January the 31st. And then we get started right at the top of February. So all applications have to be in by January 24th. I'll leave all the details down below. I am going to do an open house on January the 25th for people who have applied but still have questions things like that so if you are interested make sure you get your application in because then you're gonna have to wait to 2025 okay and I just don't want you uh, missing out on that but I thought I'd start here with the reason why I actually created gourmet grad school because I don't know if I've ever really gone into why I went from just, okay, you know, consulting as myself and working with women one-on-one to why I felt, you know, it necessary to create something like Gourmet Grad School and a program that really helped women transition from being that chef for hire, right, to do dinner parties or cooking classes or brunches or catering or meal prep or custom desserts or whatever, and really to assist them into transitioning to the CEO of their own culinary company, right? And so, I mean, I think over the years I've given little snippets, but um, I don't know if I've really shared like what made me pull the trigger and then what made me say, I need to create this, you know, fully immersive experience. And if you stay tuned over the next couple of days, I'm going to be showing you a few behind the scenes so you can kind of see what's really inside uh, of Gourmet Grad School. So, Let me tell you, I think it was circa, I don't know, this is the early 2000s, right? So I'm at an engineering school and I'm working in corporate America as an engineer. And I want to go to culinary school because I absolutely know that that's what I want to do with my life, you know? And I was just like, I can't do this engineering thing forever. It's not for me. I'm not with it. Okay. And so in my mind, I was like, if I could just get to culinary school, I could just, if I could just get to culinary school, because I think I had the same belief that culinary school worked just like college. Like if you want to be in this career, you go to the school and get a degree in that career field. And then you go and you be in the industry. And I was right. It works exactly that way. Except for the difference was this time going to school, I knew that I didn't want to be an employee. I knew that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. And the thing about culinary school is, well, it doesn't teach entrepreneurship. And that's not a bad thing. It's it's not designed to. It's designed to help you um, enhance your skills as a culinarian. It's designed to teach you the technical work of being a chef, how to move around a kitchen, you know, food safety and sanitation, right? And if you are introduced to entrepreneurship, it's usually under the umbrella of you potentially owning a restaurant one day. I knew I didn't want to do that. I know a lot I know a lot of people that watch this channel, you may be one of those people have zero desire to open a restaurant. And so it's kind of like so if I don't want to open a restaurant then where do I go to learn about entrepreneurship? So that kind of was the genesis, right? So we're talking, you know, when I went to culinary school, I think I I graduated from culinary school in 2010, right? So that was the genesis. And I remember, you know, going to culinary school, loved it, was excited about it, definitely enhanced my skills as a chef. But coming to the end and thinking like, well, what am I going to do now? Right. I had had some internships, you know, I had started having clients and I just felt like a, you know, a fish out of water, a turtle out of a shell. I had left my engineering job and I was like, okay, do I go back to school again 
to get like a MBA, do what, like, where do I go? So I, I kind of signed up for these um, personal chef training programs, but it was like, I really didn't want to be a personal chef uh, at the time. And I was doing catering. And so I bought all these catering books to try to teach me how to run a catering business. And it was like, well, for what I'm doing, you know, this isn't it. And so um, I wanted to know how to make money online. I wanted to know how to work from home as a chef. And if you're thinking 2010, like that wasn't a thing, right? And that's when I did my first cooking class. And so probably around 2013, I remember coming across a coaching program, Um, but I wasn't the ideal candidate, right? You know, it was a coaching program for online women entrepreneurs who were like transformational coaches or something like that. I can't remember exactly. And, but everything that that coach was talking about, I was like, well, that's me. It it was about, you know, wanting to do business in a feminine way and not about hustle and grinding, but really about having strategy and putting your business structures in place, but also about, you know, luxury and self-care and putting yourself first and make yourself a priority and building a business around your life. And, you know, it was like this comprehensive, year-long, very detailed program helping these women really be strategic about their business. And they had a retreat. And when I tell you the faux mo was real, and she ran this program for years. I stayed on her email list. I'm still subscribed to her YouTube channel. Uh, right. And I, I, for years I was like, I, that's what I want to attend. Like, where is that for chefs, particularly for women culinary entrepreneurs. Like I would love a community of women who, you know, love food, love to cook or doing big things, you know, making moves in the industry, getting this high level strategy, but not about hustle and grind, not about, you know, overworking, but about being strategic and systematic, but also feminine, but also leaning into the fact that we enjoy lux and we still want to be women and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I never found it. I'm telling you for years, I'd looked and looked and looked on social media, on the internet. I joined all these different other coaching programs over the years. And I was the only chef in the program uh, every single time. And usually the first. And a lot of the information, you know, I had to kind of bend and tweak and test and see if it would work for my for my business And it usually didn't. (laughs) And, you know, so I invested all this money, all this time, um, all this energy, and I kept just getting disappointed. You know, I was trying to follow the advice. By this point, you know, Instagram is thriving and social media is thriving and YouTube is thriving. And I'm trying to follow the advice of, you know, different, um, you know, experts and gurus, if you will. And... It wasn't giving. Okay, (laughs) it was not giving because they didn't know the industry. They didn't know the nuances. And so I eventually was like, forget that. I'm just going to have to document everything that I've ever done that's been successful, put it into systems, put it into frameworks, blame that on the engineer me blame, you know, put it into step by step processes and strategies and approaches and really like peel back the onion on the success that I had in my career And I was like, I want to see if I can, um, you know, do this on someone else, just not myself. So probably around 2016 is when I started coaching. Right. And I, you know, I was exclusively doing one on one coaching. And I'm telling you, people started seeing results. And I was coaching a mixture of people. I was coaching. um, I did have a chef and then I had um, a, a woman who made custom wigs. I had. Um, a femininity coach. I had a YouTuber slash comedian. I had someone who had a makeup brand. Like I had a myriad of clients from different industries and I saw that they were getting results, right? Various things. But what I really enjoyed was working with the chef, right? Because there were things that I knew about the industry and knew that she was going to face that I didn't necessarily know the nuances for when it came to these other industries. Right. And so I had a coach at the time who was like, Evelyn, you've had this amazing career career. You cooked for celebrities and these high net worth individuals, almost exclusively my career. I, I was able to work with brands and things like that. And I was like, so how, and she was like, teach people how to do what you did. 
And so I've spent the past now eight years, right, doing that. And probably around 2020 is when I was like, you know, one-on-one is great and I love it. And I love the high touch and, and the, the transformational nature of, you know, being able to work with someone one-on-one. But I also knew that there were so many people that, that needed what I had and people were started reaching out. And I was like, I really want to create a container where, you know, everything is captured. Everything that I ever wanted to say about business is captured in a container and walking people through the process of what I've distilled down where, you know, people tell you to eat the meat and spit out the bones. It's like I've pulled off the fat, you know, the skin that's not crispy uh, and the bones and just have left the juicy meat. Right. And that's how Gourmet Grass School was born. And that's how um, the Academy was born. And so, you know, I, I've gotten some feedback over the years from some women who've come to the program that they love it, you know, that it's so much more than just business strategy. Um, It really helps them build a life and a business that supports that life. It really helps them bring these ideas that they've always had that they weren't sure if it would work or how to make it work or if it could work. And so they've been doing something that's not quite what they want to do. Maybe it's kind of close or maybe it's super far away and that it's possible and to be in a space with other chefs who know food other professionals um has been wonderful game changing and they also were like we would love it if we could come together in person we would love it if we could start together and and grow together right and if there was a community and we could all start at the same time and so that's why now it's just You know, in Roman, it's just once a year. It used to be open in Roman. You could come in at any given time. And now that's not the case because I really value what my clients and students have had to say over the years. I have seen the the next level transformation when people are walking through different parts of the program at the same time. I've seen people give each other opportunities, jobs, clients, this, that, calling each other, you know, making plans to visit one another, like really forming a sisterhood. And, you know, the things that I hoped for, the things that I wanted for myself, like to be able to give that, you know, to other women entrepreneurs, it's like been my greatest joy. So um, I want to let you know that enrollment is open. And that is I mean, that is why I created Gourmet Grad School is because it was what I was looking for. There was no place teaching entrepreneurship strategy there were tactics right you know you could take a food photography class and learn a tactic you could take an instagram class and learn a tactic you could take you know a class on you know learning how to set up the tech for virtual cooking classes but as far as the business strategy of a culinary business that's not a restaurant um I just didn't see it. Right. And, and, and most consultants were restaurant consultants and, or everybody else just assumed you just want to be a caterer or personal chef. And I was like, what about those of us that are doing everything but that? Okay. And so, um, yeah, I'm really, really excited. You know, um, my goal is to maximum bring in 25 women because I don't, I, I've never enjoyed those coaching programs where there's like a hundred people in there at a time. You know, you can't talk to the coach. You feel lost in the sea of questions and all of that. I'm excited that, you know, the experience now has a private podcast because there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of mental and emotional changes that happen when you are transitioning from being a freelance chef for hire, you know, taking a gig here, taking a gig there, booking a client here to really moving into your CEO era, right? Like there's a lot of stuff that happens in the brain, unlearning hustle and grind culture, unlearning that the journey has to be difficult, unlearning that the journey has to be hard and challenging, right? And so I wanted something to supplement the very tactical, you know, step-by-step strategy that helps you manage like almost like this new woman that you're becoming in the process, right? This new business owner, like seeing yourself in a new way. I'm excited for the, let me tell you, I'm so excited for the in-person retreat that's going to happen in Q3, quarter three in Dallas, Texas. Um, I, I, listen, ooh, to get in a room with the ladies, 
I'm so excited. And let me tell you, my former clients, like people who have previously graduated are like, are, are we invited to that? Like, can we can we register for that? <laughs> right. So bring in women who have already gone through gourmet grad school to um, the academy. I, I'm like it, to the ladies that are in the academy and bring them all together to have, you know, three days where, yes, we're going to spend a day all about like business systems and strategies. But then we're also going to spend a day all about what I like to call chef care, right? Which is my little play on self-care because that's so important. We're serving and giving all the time in our roles is our personality. You know, people stop cooking for us, you know, when we become professional chefs. And it's like, who who who's gonna who's gonna serve us? Who's gonna love on us, right? And and also making sure that your life is not all work and no play, right? And then day three is all about food and culinary because Listen, the whole point of gourmet grad school is to help you live, cook, and what? Work on your own terms, right? So each one of those days is going to fall under each one of those things. I'm I'm so I'm so hype about that. Listen, y'all are not even ready, okay, for the experiences that that's about to be. And I'm excited to to meet all the women that are going to be joining the program and um you know, coming in together, I'm excited to see the relationships that are going to be formed, the bonds that are going to be made, the connections, the opportunities. I'm excited to see the transformations in the business. Um, that brings me so much joy. And, you know, I know, you know, if you go to the informational page uh, about the experience, th- you know, there's testimonials about there about people, you know, tripling their income and all that kind of stuff. And that's great. But it's less about the money they make and more about what the money does for their lives, right? Or how, you know, I had a client be like, had a gig with Delta Airlines and was like, I made more money and did less work than ever before. What is happening, right? You know, or a client who had a sick relative and, you know, her business was doing so well that she was able to take the month off to be with her family member and not really skip a beat, had to turn down gigs and people were begging her right you know for a client to quit their corporate job um because you know just the environment was was becoming you know a little toxic dare i dare say and within two days you know book a multiple five-figure gig and in and, and within that month earn half of her annual salary through her culinary business like who gets to quit their job and then within the same month generate half of their annual corporate salary? And she was like, Evelyn, if I hadn't been working with you, you know, I mean, she's worked with me for about two to three years. She was like, I, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Right. Like she just able, she just slid right into like a super profitable business because now she even has more time. And so, you know, for, you know, even clients who realize that, The culinary industry is not the best fit for them and them finding their thing and thriving in that. All of that brings me so much joy. And so, you know, if that sounds like something that you're into, listen, I encourage you to get your application in by Wednesday, January the 24th at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. All applications have to be submitted by that time. And your application um, interview and assessment needs to be scheduled, right? So um, needs to be scheduled within the, the following week. So please don't wait to the last minute, okay? Um, don't be that person, okay? Because waiting is costly. Because if I hit the 25 uh, people before the end of applications, then I'm going to um, close it down. But anyway, listen, I would love to know if you've been thinking about joining uh, the Gourmet Grad School Academy, if you've been thinking about um, what, you know, what your business goals for 2024, it the enrollment will not open again until 2025, right? So, you know, I know if you've been rocking on this channel uh, for a long time, it's like, oh, I can get to it whenever and, and that is no more. But I just wanted to share my thoughts, feelings. There were no notes. There was no script. Just really wanted to share with you um, my excitement and, you know, the reason behind Gourmet Grad School, we needed a place for us. You know what I'm saying? Like we needed a place for us.
we needed a place for us. So with that being said, uh, I hope to see your applications coming through. Let me know what questions you have below and I will see you in my next video. Peace.